watching and welcome back. Despite its lean population, the Ogiek community has defied odds and affront to their existence and jealously guard their rich culture, forest habitat and wild animals which each of the 32 clans has a totem. The 2019 census places the Ogiek of Mount Elgon at a poultry 7,000 and have blamed their stagnant numbers on factors like frequent displacements that have destabilized families. Our reporter Alan Ochanda visited the Ogiek of Mount Elgon and brings the story of the minority group that maintains no one can separate them with the forests and wildlife. 60 kilometers north of Bungoma lies Mount Elgon that is home to the Ogiek community, a sub-tribe of the larger Kalenjin community. The Ogiek have a sentimental attachment to forests and despite numerous attempts to evict them, they have stayed put but with some cardinal rule, no to destruction of forests. The 2019 population census places the Mount Elgon Ogiek at a paltry 7,000, a number that has been stagnant over years, and they attribute this to frequent evictions in the past, which has destabilized the family unit. Kwanza zizi kwa kufukuswa, fukuswa, family na break out. Wa mama wanatoroka kwa tababu ya maisha ngumu, ata na gui, usazi zaza inakuwa ni very 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 scared na hata na vile tunapata chakula sasa yuzi wakati sasa tumenyanganywa unajua the gear community eh, eh, wanatakemea sana asali eh, nyama masiwa wakati tunapo sukumwa tunapo sumbuliwa hizo vitu vyote tunakosa sisi tunachonga misinga tunaweka tunakusa nyuki sasa tunawapofukuswa tunawaja mizinga tunawaja nyuki chakula inapotea watu wanakuwa eh, wanaishi bila chakula and that is pengine why watu wetu wameaja wajaendelea waja kumotbla kama watu wengine the frequent shifting they say threatens their roots and culture but at least the jealousy with which they guard their ways of living paints hope for their birthright a few kilometers inside of the forest is Labot Center, where life goes on as usual. It is dotted with houses and shops, besides human activities signifying life. To preserve their culture and identity, and of course preventing any attempts to be swallowed, the Ogek community is now putting up a resource center here at Labot to ensure that their council of elders are now residing here and keep their traditional artifacts to pass over to their future generations. Ogiek elders have just had a meeting here and as they emerge from the resource center, they brainstorm the meeting's resolutions, all geared towards ensuring culture preservation. Adjacent to the resource center are 32 mud wall grass thatched houses. They represent the 32 clans that make up the Ogiek. Each clan has an animal totem, thus no clan can allow its animal totem to be fed on by either clan. This then means no consumption of wild meat. Atutake wanyama yishe, kwa sababu sisi tuko na clan 32, na kila clan hako na mnyama hao. Na atu, eh, kila clan haiwezi kupali ya kwamba mtu mungine hauwe mnyama hao. Tena saiti ya hiyo sisi ya tukuli wanyama amusitu kwa sababu wanyama amusitu kama ume, umekula samani wase yetu ilikuwa uwezu kunywa tena maziwa. Sisi ya ugeki tuko na clan salasina mbili na kila clan iko na mnyama wake. Haswa kama mimi clan yetu ni umbwa. Kuna clan ambaye clan yao ambaye totem yao ni ndovu. Hawa clans kila mtu awezi kubali mnyama wao kuchezewa na mtu mungine. Now, tuko na mambo na miti. Kuna miti ambaye sisi kama jamii hatuchomi, hata kuwa kuni. Miti mingi sana. So, if we can be able to incorporate both indigenous knowledge and the new information from the government of SAS, KFS, KWS, I think tunezeenda mbali sana. Overlooking Labot Center is the lush green vegetation. Sadly, decades of exploitation have led to large areas of the forest being degraded or lost. An aerial view reveals much of the forest was cut down for extensive farms or plantations.
oh. this according to the members of the community is due to retrogressive policies like the shamba system that has contributed to the extinction of the iconic elgon tick tree that bore the name mount elgon besides depletion of bees habitat meaning no honey natural areas in mount elgon uh, uh, where elgon tick have been cut indiscriminately actually uh, is uh, destroying uh, the environment and that's not a way of mitigating uh, climate uh, change what has way to hapa ma awali hao kukua umesoma na walikuwa na indigenous knowledge ile wanaweza kukaa na kuishi na msitu ndani hapa na wanyamapori ndani hapa bila matata yoyote ile hii ilikuwa ni mahali ilikuwa na ile inaitwa elgon tick miti ambayo inakaa miaka 100 tulikata hiyo kwa miaka moja kitambo sasa tuweze kupata elgon tick mlima hii itakuwa shida in fact itabidi tuulize restoration ya elgon tick na pia compensation ya elgon tick the flagship tree ya mount elgon ambayo inaitwa elgon tick iko hapo wewe ukiona ndugu yangu along the forest pathways they said that tree logs dot the area on their account they say they have been lying here for the last 50 years after they were abandoned by some timber dealers upon ambush by locals thus are cagey about any strangers visiting the mount elgon ecosystem atutaki ile partners wanasema wamekucha kutusaidiana na sisi tufanye kazi ya kulinda mazingira ya hapa na kumbe wamekuja kufanya kazi ya commercial katika msitu ya asili Despite their small number they have taken any affront on them head on. Case in point, they won a major landmark case on human rights violation in 2017 at the African Court of Human and People's Rights after a 13 year legal struggle. Alan Ochanda, KTN News. Thank you Alan for that report but now let's go straight to week in review. Remember it has been a very busy week.